DIY or die, a simple slogan to some. But to others, DIY or die was the mantra of the Bronx Underground, a local organization which provided people a second home to enjoy live music. It was this awesome world. It was really a world uh, within itself that nobody else knew about outside of the Bronx. So to have that kind of microcosm of like this giant scene in such a small encapsulated area, um, I think it's a very unique experience. You know, I think it's like a once in a lifetime sort of thing that happened. The Bronx Underground started in 2000 when founders Anita Colby, Adam Fashler, and Dave Rose noticed the striking lack of local music venues in the Bronx. People were just so into it. And, you know, when you've got a crowd of people singing along and you're an indie artist and you feel like a rock star and it's just this ridiculous adrenaline high that's feeding off of you and the audience. It's like one of those unforgettable moments that you just always constantly strive for more and more of that. When you see people, they're sweaty, they're just getting out of the pit, they're fighting to get outside because it's so hot you can't breathe. But it, we loved it and it was great. The Bronx Underground wasn't really just the Bronx. I think that's what we all missed because when it was really up and running, it was it was it was Queens kids. There was kids from from Manhattan coming in. There was kids from all over. There was kids from Westchester. It wasn't just the Bronx. I think it's a uh, it's a whole New York scene dying. After 14 years of bands, shows, and venues, the doors are closed. And the show is over.